everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualized. It's day three of my self isolation slash lockdown. Uh, it's the first day for the New Zealand as a whole for the lockdown. Um, but I'm going to go according to my time schedule since they're my videos. So, day three, and I'm having a bit of a play. I cooked up some black boy peaches that I'm being given. Uh, and stewed them up and put them in the freezer and then I took the skins that I'd taken off them put them in a pot with that much water again so cover them with water and then cover them by the level again the depth of the skins so you don't want too much water I cooked them up for somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half and then strained it off through an old tea towel and a colander to get this liquid it's a beautiful deep red, well it was, um, if you can, don't get the colour, oops there goes my timer, come with me, I'll just pause what I was saying there and come with me to the oven and check on this batch of paper and that's done, sorry about the loud thing, I'll just turn the timer off so it's not beeping in the background, so I've decided to experiment with dyeing the paper and my first results, my first sheets that I pulled were beautiful. If you can see this deep pinky purple colour and lots of lovely marks and where I overlap the paper it's paler which is fine. On the back it's slightly yellow because this pan I had done some turmeric dyeing in uh, so it's picked up. And then the second lot of paper I forgot about and so it's just gone brown, which is okay too, I don't mind that, it's just like it's coffee dyed, slightly different, not quite the same. And then this is the third lot, I set the timer for, so that it didn't go brown like my last lot, and it's gone brown a little bit because this is actually thinner paper, this is um, lined writing paper, A4 size, and I don't know if you can pick up the colour, let's see if I can try but it is purple. Yeah, it's really hard to try and get the true true colour with the light coming through the window. It's really pretty. Believe me, it's really pretty. Then I decided I'd try and experiment with this because this is a red colour. So I thought it should react with vinegar and or baking soda the same way a lot of red things will. So I put vinegar in, expecting to get some sort of completely different colour? No. All I got was a slightly lighter colour. That's all. Um, I don't know whether that will result in a lighter colour end product. I really don't know. So I'm going to, I'm just trying to slip into a glove, which is not that easy. And my husband might just be coming in the door in a minute. So that's going to be interesting if he makes big noise. So I'm just going to try and drain a little bit and take it across to my pan so I can cook it in the oven. So what I'm doing here in the solution, it is a cold process. Uh, I'll probably try hot later on because I halved my mixture so this is just half of my mixture. And I wanted to see whether it would work cold, and it does work, but I'm wondering whether it would work even better if I did it hot, with the liquid being hot. So I'm just, oh that's bit, that's nicer, that's been in there a bit longer, this sheet, it's got more colour in it. It's also a different type of paper. So I'm just going to stack these up. And pop them in the oven. Yeah, that bond paper works a lot better than this um, pad of paper. It captures the colour a lot better. If you can see, those top ones are the bond paper, and it's really absorbed a nice amount of colour. I'm going to just pop those in the oven. And I'll give them three minutes. Last time I gave them two and they still went brown so I'll give them three. 
Okay, so the, the white vinegar didn't really work. But I do want to see if baking soda is going to do anything. So I will pause you just for a sec while I grab the baking soda. Okay, I'm back again. So I'm just, I don't know how much to put, so I'm just going to try a, if I can get out the container with one hand. Try a heaped teaspoon, dump it in, and if it does, if it reacts like the vinegar, it's not going to do a lot. <laughs> But let's see, so we're just giving it a mix through. Oh, there it is. I do believe there is colour change happening. Hopefully it's a nice colour change. As I said, I do have half my mixture still, so if it ruins it, I'm not too worried, because I know I've still got some there left. It's not dissolving very well. Probably would dissolve better in a hot mixture. It's, I must admit got me worried it's going sort of brown well the only thing we can do is chuck some paper in and see what happens yeah it's sort of a light cola colour okay not quite what I was expecting but let's go I'll use some bond paper because I think that's showing us much better results and bear in mind I did also have vinegar in so you probably want to do one or the other, not both at the same time. Um, but hey, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's just throw it all in and see what happens. So can you see that colour? It's really... <laughs> very interesting colour. Almost like raw grape juice. Um, if you know what that looks like. It was a bit gritty because of the undissolved baking soda. And I'm not worrying about the glove, it's just too awkward to get on and off while holding the camera. Right, so I'll do, I'll do four sheets just so we get a good idea. So I'm thinking that the baking soda is not such a great idea, especially when there's already vinegar in there. But hey, as I said, this is all one big experiment. But certainly the peach juice by itself, with no additives, works beautifully. Right, so I'll just give that a bit of a soak while we wait for the papers in the oven to finish. And there we go, there goes the beaker. Just clear off my bench because I've covered it with things. I'll be back in a sec. Well, this was completely unexpected. This is the lot with the vinegar added, and it's gone part purple, part green. It's, I don't know if you can see the green, um, it's quite green, it's a nice green though, it's sort of a sagey, hard to describe green really, and if I can get, the, no I can't get the colour right on the camera, which is very frustrating, can you see a bit, I just had to put you on pause because my hus husband came in, um, I, yeah, this is cool really didn't expect green so maybe the vinegar well not maybe it has it's actually altered the color so that's green and the bottom ones are less green and that paper yeah really doesn't absorb the color quite so well so let's try this last batch and see what we get here so maybe this will surprise me too and come up with something nice it doesn't look so nice at the moment I must admit, but we shall see. It's definitely coloured the paper, I'm just not sure what colour. Right, I'm going to pop that in the oven, so I'll pop you and pause and bring you back when it's ready to come out. Okay, back again. So this is the paper just out of the oven, which has got the vinegar and the baking soda. And the paper has turned out a yellowy green. Uh, the camera's not picking it up. Again, it's having real issues with colours. Um, that's the vinegar one. 
maybe you can see the difference and that's more yellowy on this side with the vinegar and the baking soda and this one's green and a bit of purple with just the vinegar so that's my experiment um if you've got some black boy peaches give it a go okay catch you next time bye